Thank you to Horse Clicks for sending me these products to review. First product we're going to review is this roll on fly repellent from Farnham. So, this product says that you can put it around wounds, and as you can see, there are some flies on him. So, I'm just going to put it around it and see if that gets them to go away. Oh, it seems to be working. The next product we're going to review is these paddock cakes. And Apollo, if he likes a treat, will smile. So we're going to see if he likes these. So they've got a peppermint in them, and they smell pretty good. You going to try it, buddy? Good. I think he likes them pretty well. Let's try another one. You gonna try another one? Yeah? If he'll eat a second one, they're pretty good for him. Next up we have this tail brush. It's a tail tamer by Professional's Choice. So I'm going to first show you using it without a detangler in his tail. And then I'll use a detangler in his tail to see how that affects using this brush. And not very many hairs in the brush, so I didn't pull out a big bunch of his hair. That's what I like, because I'd prefer for his tail to grow longer. And if a brush pulls pulls their tail out, then it's not going to do really good. Let me start to smell So, after brushing all of his tail, I have a few more hairs in it, but not near as many as I had in my other brushes. So, a comparison of brushes is the Professional's Choice Tail Tamer versus this Oster brush that I've had, and we will change horses and try it with Remington. So, his tail was brushed two weeks ago. And it had something that it could well. And it has quite a few hairs in it as well. They both do a good job, but this one has two hairs versus the other one had quite a few more, and I even cleaned it out before I started this. So, I think I would pick the Tail Tamer by Professional's Choice over my Oster brush. This will be the one I use the most now. And see if he'll go for another one. Would you want another one? Yeah. Good boy. Yep. 
definitely a good one. They're both very picky eaters. They will not eat just any treat. I've tried quite a few from different places online. And that's a good one, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. So he won't eat just anything. Both of my boys are very picky. Now we're going to check and see how these peppermint bit wipes clean Remington's bit and whether or not he likes the taste of the peppermint on the bit. So, it's pretty nasty. We're going to use a bit wipe to clean it with. That works pretty good. That's pretty easy. This dried on grass stains from last night is what it is and quite a while to use because I've never used bit wipes before look at that it's pretty good we'll just see if he likes the taste of the peppermint on it which I'm willing to bet he will he likes peppermint candy. And it says just one bit wipe per bit is all it takes. And it's 40 disposable wipes. Look at that. That's so much cleaner. Except for my hands. My hands are not. <laughs> much better. Give it one good wipe down just to get that peppermint taste on it. And now we'll see what he thinks. I check in on the fly roller from for Apollo. Looks like it's still no flies on the wound. And no flies on his face. Good boy. So I'd say that's a good thing. This is just a piece of dirt. Yeah. Yep, we like that. And we like the horse treats. And the bit wipes, they cleaned very well. And the tail brush was really good too. So I'd say all the products that Horse Clicks have sent us, we would say we would use them again.